Hey everybody, excited to talk portfolio allocation today. I'm going to share with you my template for portfolio allocation and today I want to walk you through how to use the template. First of all, why do we need portfolio allocation? Simon, can I buy just directly something that is juicy and you or other YouTubers, you tell me what to buy and I buy it and I get rich? No, this is not how it works. You have to create your own trusted system for investing. And what is a trusted system? It is something that works in all kinds of market conditions, where you learn and get more precise week after week, where you decide which gra graduality of, you know, being very active, spending hours per day, or being very passive, spending just an hour a month. It works for you, for your current life circumstances, and you get better and better as an investor. Simon, does it work if I'm a trader? Yes, because parts of your portfolio will be investor parts where you sh hold long term, and parts of your portfolio will be short term anyways. That's the trading part, okay? So, and when we say long term and short term, uh, long term, investors think in five years, three years, traders think in everything below one year. And that can be a month, a week, a day, an hour. It's the same principles in terms of what we are going to learn here. Okay, so let's go into it, right? First step that you need is portfolio allocation. When you got portfolio allocation, then we move to how to select the right assets and how to select the right timing to enter and the right timing to exit. And then you need something for rebalancing. Rebalancing means bringing everything again in the sizes and in the risk level that you want to have. And um, that's it. Okay, so let's start with the first one, which is portfolio allocation. And you will grab the template in the Sprint University and you will download it, make a copy and make it your own. Here, this is just an example and I'll show you how to use this, okay? First thing that you have to pick, that depends on how old you are and if you want to have to build wealth or protect wealth. If you want to build wealth, then you have to be more aggressive and more precise. So you just pick a few titles a few assets and you go in hard with conviction and you have to study them every day. Study the fundamentals and study the technical analysis. I will show you how. If you want to protect your wealth, you diversify, you go broad. And there is also a middle way. We will go through all the three. So what is an aggressive portfolio? You have to decide how much percentage do you want to be in stocks in real estate, in crypto, and in cash. These are the four main uh, categories. And then there are alternatives. Make it your own. It might be gold. It might be something else. Uh, in my case, it's alternatives because over the last 10 years, I've been advising many tech startups and they didn't pay me in, um, in cash. They, they paid me in equity. But it's startup equity, it's not um, mature equity, so I call it alternatives and it's here. If you have stuff like that, put it in there. But pick your fights. So stocks, an aggressive stock portfolio is 40%. A very defensive stock portfolio is 10% stocks, okay? And everything in between. Then you pick your real estate. Uh, I am currently 40% real estate because we are preparing for a bear market but I don't know when you watch these videos if you prepare for for a bull market it's of course different than you prepare for a bear market so uh, real estate uh, pick your real estate what if your business would run well even when you are on vacation discover how 1600 business owners have regained their freedom using the strategy sprints blueprints 
how they enjoy living their dream and watching their business scale. Get the exact checklists they use to go from stressed to fulfilled using the Strategy Sprints method. Order your copy of Strategy Sprints 12 Ways to Accelerate Growth for an Agile Business on Amazon today. And if you love it, leave us a review. For more information, head over to strategysprints.com. Allocation size might be 40% for you, might be 30%, 20%. Uh, alternatives, make it small. Crypto, crypto, you name it, right? So I am quite high crypto, but it's very risky. So 36% crypto would be very aggressive. 5% crypto would be defensive. 10% crypto would be defensive. 15% crypto, you start getting into the high risk territory there. Cash, define how much cash do you want. I want before bear markets, I want to be 25% cash. In the beginning of a bull market, I want to be 1% cash. Basically, cash is just either what you need to spend or what you want to deploy as a dry powder soon. And so in this example, we have a current value of 100,000 euro each, and then you see your total value. Um, and so you start your allocation here, you decide aggressive, defensive. What's the duration? Are you doing this for 50 years, for 10 years? Obviously, the younger you are, the more aggressive you can go, because if you lose money in your 20s, you can you can still earn it. And in your 70s, the worst thing that can happen is that you lose your savings. So you will be very defensive the older you get. Then the second, but this is overall portfolio, okay? And then you have here your current portfolio and your target portfolio. This is what you check in terms of, am I on track? Am I going towards my goals or not? What's the gap? And so you rebalance, um, either monthly or weekly or daily, depending on how much of an investor you are or a trader. This is an example portfolio here with some typical stocks. And you will enter here the stock name and the symbol. It will calculate automatically the rest. So, for example, you bought 12 shares of Amazon and 25 of Alphabet it will now automatically show you here the allocation in percentages. And I personally always add also when I bought them, my cost basis and what my estimation is in terms of risk and reward. And then it will show me automatically the change. This is just an example. Same thing for crypto. Same thing for real estate, alternatives, cash. And then I always have here my buy list and my sell list. This is just an example. Don't buy Tesla at 1000. This is where you sell Tesla. Um, asset, current, uh, my estimation, when do I plan to buy? When do I plan to sell? Even if you are an investor, an investor basically plans just to buy and hold. Even if you are, think like a trader, write down your exit price. It's just good practice because it sharpens your thinking and it makes sure that you are thinking through the things and not just buying because a buddy is buying or your favorite YouTuber is buying or whoever you, you follow is doing something. Don't do something just because somebody does, even if they are super sharp, even if it's Ray Dalio or Warren Buffett, don't do it. Make your own homework um send it through your own fundamental analysis that will be the next video that i'm doing for you and then through your technical analysis that will be the next video and then you do it so this is target allocation um uh, sorry this is portfolio construction and um portfolio overall percentages okay so then the homework until next time is define your amount of stocks, real estate, crypto, cash, then 
fill in your current things so that you have everything in one place. And next time we talk fundamental analysis, which means we go through how you decide which assets to take in the first place. And then if you want the how-to guide on running a resilient and agile business, get the book Strategy Sprints, 12 Ways to Accelerate Growth for an Agile Business. It offers the step-by-step -step blueprints to elevating your marketing and sales. Order your copy of Strategy Sprints, 12 Ways to Accelerate Growth for an Agile Business on Amazon today. If you love it, leave us a review. For more information, head over to strategysprints.com. In, and then the next question is, okay, when should I buy them? That's technical analysis. So we will do fundamental analysis next and technical analysis. This is portfolio construction. Create your portfolio and we'll take it from there. We also have, have we'll have one video about risk management. How do you de-risk your portfolio, both with the number of different uncorrelated assets and also with the sizing, how big should your size be when you buy, when you sell, and overall limits that you can give to your sizes to reduce risk. Hope that helps. Keep rolling, everybody. As always, let me know what you need in the comments. Um, subscribe to get the new video and keep rolling, everybody. <laughs>